How goes the family? Welcome back to Larry's Same Thing Goes. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. Today's subject matter is going to be talking about good old Mr. Robert M. Smith. I remember making a video about him earlier, but he's. Um, I'm actually going to talk about the people whose lives he's actually impacted on a, on a more um, personal level. You know, I know a lot of people remember um, hearing about him giving the ultimate gift for college students at Morehouse over the summer. $40 million that paid off uh, graduates' debts. It is a big freaking deal. Now I'm going to talk about two people who used, used this opportunity because that's exactly what he created for them. These two people are Jacques Harrison and Jamil Chambers, who were a part of Morehouse graduating class. Jacques Harrison is from Chicago and Mr. Um, Jamil Chambers is from Chicago as well. They're both Chicagoans. And they started, um, and, but uh, Jacques Harrison it, um, actually started a job at a charter school um, being a teacher in one of the most expensive cities within the world, not just the U.S., good old New York City, NYC. And with him not having any college debt, this will make life much easier for him on his new journey within New York City and within his new career. Mr. Harrison also is actually pursuing his master's degrees in the art of teaching at, uh, um, at Relay uh, School um, of Education in New York city so i think it's a it seems like it's a win-win and obviously you see the the smile on both of these two young men and i wish them nothing but the best in the in the future um when it comes to that and since he doesn't have to worry about you know making student loan debt payments which for those who pursue the master's degrees you know when they have about 50 to eighty thousand dollars in debt that's the norm they get my respect in a big big way now mr harrison is still in shock but he stated and i quote i'm blessed mr robert f smith asked the graduates to pay it forward and mr harrison is doing just that remember that mr smith paid the tuition of 400 graduates which was over which was about forty eight thousand five hundred dollars per student give or take you know um and mr harrison is the oldest of five siblings which you know and he was actually the first in his family to go to college so i think that's a big you know it's a big deal for him to have that kind of a blessing happen to him and to have, you know, the, and so he was the first to have the honor to graduate from a four year university. He was fortunate enough to get a scholarship from Morehouse Alumni Association, which I didn't realize they had because um, I didn't go to a um, university. Um, but which, uh, so it only left him with $40,000 in debt because um, if he did not have that scholarship, he would have had $100,000 in debt. So, with him not having any debt, it, it kind of really worked out for him. He has a brand new start, and I know it's a refreshing feeling to not have to deal with that kind of debt. Uh, Mr. Harrison stated either way uh, he looked at it, college was a must because he wanted to show that uh, anyone from the hood can make it. Right on, that, right on that, other people have proven that, you've proven it, and you keep up the good work, Mr. Harrison. Um, and he actually also plans to give back, which is a great thing, because when you get you should you when you when you get something, you should always try to fi figure out a way to give back. Um, by he wants to create a resource center for teens looking to apply to college, but may need assistance or guidance on how to have a successful college degree, uh, career, and that makes sense because a lot of people they might have very high IQs, but being successful in co in college is more than just having good grades, you know. Um, and I think he wants to teach them some financial literacy tactics at the same time, which we need more of in a big, big way. Um, you know, nat because nat nationally there is an estimated 1.4 trillion in student loan debt, and the average student upon graduating owes about 32,000, according to the data from a 2017 um, 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 study that was conducted. Actually, and you can look it up on debt.org/students. You know, so that's um, that's a that's a pretty big deal. You know, when you think about it, um, I myself went to school, but I did not get into that kind of debt, and it actually took me longer to finish school because I was paying it on my own. I was paying it via credit card. That's it. matter of fact, I got a decent credit score because I was taking one to two classes a semester. It took me a lot longer to complete my degree, but it was worth it because when I left um, my college, I was debt free, so I was very happy on that one. So, but anyways, I digress. His ultimate goal is to basically help underprivileged students who want to go to college and be the first and second ones to graduate just like he did. Now let's move on to Mr. Jamel Chambers, who said, who said uh, right along with Mr. Harrison that all the male atmosphere is one of the main reasons why they both chose to go to Urban Prep Academy in Inglewood um, High School in Chicago, which I've always heard great things about. And so please, you know, people that are involved in that, Urban Prep Academy, 
please keep up the good work. We, we really support you. You know, it's the financial intelligence channel, but we got to always look out for the people who are coming from certain situations that are hard, coming from situations to where working hard and, you know, trying to be better person, be better people. That's what it's all about, you know, not just from the financial aspect, from the educational aspect and from just the personal aspect. You know, we all can strive to be better at the end of the day. And Mr. Chambers is actually a fourth Morehouse alumnus in in his family so it, it was his dream school since he was a kid you know family members went he he went it just it was in his blood and he's happy to finally call himself a morehouse man and i'm happy that his dream came true i love to see people's dreams come true mr chambers graduated with a political science degree with a full scholarship which is awesome i like this part about the article he stated because uh, mr chambers stated that he didn't have a debt to be paid off but he was very happy for his brothers that were graduating debt free. And that should be commendable, you know, round of applause. Because we live in a real me society nowadays, so when I hear that people are actually happy for others, that makes me happy. Mr. Chambers plans on attending law school in the future and also plans to help others get a debt free start in life, like Mr. Smith has done for others. So, this is, that's what I said, great positive atmosphere. Mr. Chambers and his Morehouse brothers want to ensure that they live up to the expectations that they were taught in school. Their ultimate goal is to teach future generations at Morehouse how to handle and erase their college debt, which I think is a beautiful thing at the same time. And this is why, you know, my YouTube platform is all about financial intelligence slash education. One thing we all know is that student, student debt impacts so many Americans. People feel it on a regular basis. Today, you know, especially minorities um, and blessings like Mr. Robert F. Smith have basically provided you know, have extraordinary implications in terms of generational wealth, you know, that can be created, which people need to really take much more um, stock in and pay more, much more attention to generational wealth because everybody else is focused on that. But a lot of African-Americans are not. Um, and I know it's hard out here, but um, I'd rather have debt in a business than have debt in a college degree. I'm just going to call it like I see it. Not to say college degree isn't valuable, but you know, just a hundred thousand dollars, eighty thousand dollars, you know, and you don't even make anywhere near that a year and had that kind of debt and actually have it accumulate. It's just crazy. So um, and this is why so many people are becoming more entrepreneurs now, because they know it's just it's a, for a lot of people, it's a setup. But for these young men, it's not a setup. And I commend them and I hope that they continuously um, do what they have to do um, so that they so and educate others so that others people don't end up in debt because you know you want generational wealth to, to impact not only your kids but your kids 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 and etc and so forth that's the real impact of generational wealth there's a study that states out there and i'm going to make need to make a video about it, about african americans um being having a, a value net worth of about 25 to 30 dollars maybe a hundred dollars at most um, and that's nothing. I mean, that it's nothing. A hundred dollars is nothing now, unless you just need to get something to eat, but you can't really live off a hundred dollars. So a hundred dollars is nothing now compared to, um, what it's going to be within the next 15 to 20 years. So that's a scary thought. Please take it seriously, but I will end this video off on a positive note. You know, that the gift that Mr. Smith gave these young men was not a handout, but it was rather a hand up. And I wish you guys nothing but success, peace, love, and prosperity, and all that great stuff. Um, hopefully you guys like the video. Please give it a like. Please give it a share. Definitely subscribe. Check out the online store. And thanks for continuously riding with me as I continue this financial intelligence journey of mine. Take care.